So we're about maybe 20 minutes from arriving to Susha Island here in the San Juan Islands. Um, it's been a nice evening motor ride, a little bit longer than we wanted, but that's okay. Uh, we've had a pretty awesome day. We left East Sound this morning, stopped in uh, Do Bay for an awesome uh, time dipping in the hot tubs that they have there. Oh, it's beautiful. It was so relaxing. Yeah, I'm excited to get anchored and start some dinner. All right, so we went around Lawrence Point and we got a really awesome flood tide here. And then I always forget about this, but then you turn this corner and you'd think the flood would keep pushing you up, but it was actually going the other way. Pretty nasty. We got down to like 2.8 knots for a little while. Now we're up to four, which sounds really awesome, even though that's horrible. Um, so yeah, that's that. But it's glassy calm and we're just relaxing and catching up. George is uh, slaving away, polishing the boat, making it all pretty. The next morning, we woke up to a gorgeous sunrise anchored in Echo Bay. We enjoyed homemade cinnamon rolls and hot tea before heading out to explore the island. Susha Island is a marine state park with lots of places to anchor, Echo Bay being the largest. It is also one of the most northern San Juan Islands and one of our favorites. We love spending our time here searching for marine fossils in Fossil Bay, stretching our sea legs among the many trails that map the island, and enjoying the wildlife and the rugged coastlines. We ended up spending that entire afternoon hiking around the island, playing in the currents, and exploring the tide pools. A little seal right in front of us. What? That's going really good. Wow. Oh, it's a little bit of a.
Later that afternoon, it was time to head on out and head over to Roche Harbor. So we just left Susha Island and we are headed to Roche Harbor for our last night in the Salmon Islands and then we head home tomorrow. Got a stroke of good luck. The wind came up a lot stronger than expected. We had to double reef uh, earlier, which was cool. We were going up into the wind, but uh, that was still cool. And right now we're doing uh, just shy of eight. We were doing eight knots, uh, doing a beam reach. Looks like we just had some current against us, but we were expecting that. Um, Shortly after arriving to Roche Harbor, we needed to dive on the boat and replace our zincs that had fallen off. The sun was starting to set soon, but we only had hot water for so long after our short motor ride into our anchorage. That's some pretty cold water that George is about to jump in. Lucky him. You got this. It actually looks good. Does it? Yeah. Uh, What'd you do? Well, it's cold. Uh, went down, scraped some barnacles off the prop. There's one pretty big one, which is weird. Those things grow quick, because that's been, what, six months, seven, wait, seven? Seven months since we were out? Yeah. Um, uh, changed uh, the shaft sink, not the one on the end of the max prop, because it looked new, so I guess the one on the shaft is the one that went. Um, took out and I greased one side of the max prop but their allen key allen screw that you got to pull out so like that big and getting cold and I figured I'd call it good at one because I don't think I was going to be able to grab the second one because I'm starting to shake now so so all in all success no screws lost new shaft zinc is on prop is clean uh and that's that We spent our last day exploring Roche Harbor, relaxing in a field full of dragonflies and enjoying a stroll through the art sculpture park. We tend to spend our last day at Roche Harbor before sailing home and it never disappoints.
Good morning. Captain's log. Last day of the trip. I think it says gale warning in the strait right now. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> We're going. Should be done by the time we get there. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. A lot of conflicting uh, wind predictors out there. So we'll see what happens. And uh, we got everything lashed down pretty good, kind of. So we'll see how this ends up. So we are officially leaving Roche Harbor. Homeward bound. <laughs> homeward bound to Port Angeles. Hopefully we'll get there right. before uh, the wind really picks up. Join us next time on Sailing Kissed as we head to Desolation Sound. Be sure to subscribe and follow us at Sailing Kissed on Instagram.